Hello, my name is Llewellyn Williams. This is a home-produced voice tape, and the agency is... Hi there! I'm out to sell you something, and you want to know whether or not it's a worthwhile buy. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not only a worthwhile buy, it's an absolutely golden opportunity. So don't just sit there, grab a paper, grab a pencil, get these details down, and then go, 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 go for it! Of course, a great many people are much more comfortable with what I would call the Alistair Cook approach. This is a deceptively casual style that in fact employs a whole bag of tricks. Gentle, reasonable, reassuring. Relying not only on the use of words to get the points across, but also on the use of pauses. And never forgetting that the occasional flash of dry, ironic humour, Oh God, I dropped the script! is a very good way of holding the listener's attention. What's all this about a script? I don't see no script. Of course you don't see a script. He hasn't got one, has he? But I'd have thought that with a name like Llewellyn Williams, they'd be expecting a Welsh accent. Oh, I don't know, boy, what's in a name. After all, a rose by any other name would still smell as sweet, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, it might smell as sweet, but if it were born in Bradford like he was, you wouldn't expect it to talk with a Welsh accent, would you? No, it's quite right, is that, and I can second, I can for one, I can second the fact that he were born in Bradford. He was, he was, I. Well, I don't think it's important where you're born, man. I mean, I think the important thing is where you're brought up, and he was brought up in Whitley Bay, wasn't he? Well, for the first few years, anyway. Well, of course he was, man. I seen him myself romping on the sands at Whitley with his little face all aglow. Hey, I, have you heard about me brother? He had 500 battery ends, you know, and he killed them. Tr trying to get the batteries in. Oh, God, who let him in? Look, I'm not so interested in where he was born or brought up. I, I want to know about his antecedents. Ah, well, hey, Jimmy. I'll tell you something interesting here. You know the Bella Houston Park? Well, now, the, uh, uh, Bella Houston was his great, great, oh, a, a few more greats, grandmother. I can't, I can't remember quite how many. Anyway, uh, she was his, you know, great, great, great grandmother, as I was saying. And, uh, and, and the, the park's named after her. Go on, drive. You got a bottle, Jimmy, or perhaps a few sweeties. Well, look, gents, this is all very well, but, I mean, if we can move the old business a few hundred miles further south, then we might get down to some brass tacks, you know what I mean? It's all very well, but, I mean, he lived for years in North London, didn't he? I mean, he lived in Edmonton, and before that he lived in, uh, where was it, uh, Walthamstow? That's right, Walthamstow. Walthamstow is where he lived for quite a while, yes. Just up the road from Acne. I had a very good business in Acne, you know. Nice little store there, good pitch. Well, of course, if I may butt in here for a moment, if I may be permitted... Uh, in actual fact, the first place he lived in London, uh, you know, in a metropolitan area, was in fact Uxbridge. Uh, that, of course, is your Ryslip area, which is uh, very much upmarket from Walthamstow and Edmonton, I would say, really. Upmarket? What's he mean, upmarket? I'll give him upmarket, the toughy nose. Uh, quiet, just a minute, please, please, please. Let's not have any abusive language here. We don't want any trouble, do we? No, no trouble. It's a nice, quiet business we got here. We don't want no trouble. Play nice. Bloody hell, did I have a few last night. They never touched the size, you know. I don't even remember putting them down on the bar. Excuse me, could we just get back to the matter in hand for a moment? Um, it seems to me we're talking about this fellow that, uh, you know, lived all over the place with a Welsh name, but um, I'd like to make it plain that the one place he hasn't lived in for any amount of time is Dublin. Ah, but now he has lived there temporarily. I know that because he's played the Olympia Theatre more than once. I know that myself because I have seen him on several occasions. Oh, now that's the God's honest truth. Yes, I know he hasn't played the gate, but I have seen him at the Olympia. Really? Most interesting. Seems to me that the viewer would be very interested in this. And what exactly, Carl, would he be interested in? For myself, I would be most interested to know what he would be interested in. Excuse me, my name is not Carl, it's Yusuf. So your name's not Carl. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Yusuf is a better name. Excuse me here, I'm not used to being interrupted when I'm trying to give a lecture. Will you kindly or else remain silent or just get out of the room? Lecture? What kind of lecture are you trying to give? All I know is if you're trying to give a lecture, then get on with it. It's not here. Do it somewhere else. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please, let's have a little decorum here. We'd like to conduct the rest of this tape on civilized lines. Yeah, yeah, quiet down, quiet down, Ori. Come on, let's get back to the subject in hand. Yeah, let's have a little peace and quiet here. I came here for a little peace and quiet because I just can't stand noise.
Noise, noise, hell, you don't know what noises till you heard that bailing machine of mine. God, it sounds like 25 broken down tractors all trying to get in gear at the same time. Well, I really didn't think we had a problem here. You know, I thought we were going along quite nicely. <laughs> we were getting on quite well, really. Listen, sweetheart, you wouldn't know if things were going well or straight down the tubes. Yeah, tubes. It's my tubes what's been giving me the trouble. All day long, it seems I don't ever get a good breath. So give him a little chicken soup. Well, all I know is this is all beyond me. Somebody find me a bottle in a quiet corner. Order, order, please, order. Now, it seems to me that this meeting is getting entirely out of hand. Yes, I couldn't agree more. And while we're on the subject of our American brothers, I'd just like to bring up a small point here. Has it ever struck you that with this plethora, this wealth of cowboy films, one never hears one of these gunfighters with a Yorkshire or a Lancashire or a Scots accent? Listen, you don't hear them talk in Brooklyn either. You know, I wouldn't want to be part of this menagerie for a great deal of money. I find it all very, very confusing. Oh, signori, signori, please pay a little attention here. It seems to me we're getting nowhere at all. Well, seems to me I lost track of the whole dang thing days ago, so it ain't bothering me none. Yeah, well, it's right, really, isn't it? I mean, you know, what what he said last is, uh, I go along with that, I agree with that, yeah, I, I wouldn't argue with that, right? Yeah, we've been together now for 40 years. Get that bum out of here! And it don't seem a day too much. And there ain't a lady living in the land. I say that's going a bit far, isn't it? And not a lady in the land. Just a minute, I think I get his point. Forty years we've been together. Well, all of us, all, all forty years been together inside his head. Well, I, I find that absolutely amazing myself. Well, you might, but I certainly don't. <laughs> no, it doesn't interest me at all. Yes, yes, well, of course, that's all very well. But if I could have your attention for just one moment, I would like to speak to you about... about... Uh, gracious me, I, I've entirely forgotten what it was I was going to say. Well, that's just as well, because we don't want any of it. We don't want to know. Violets, violets, by my sweet violets, Tom's a punch. Wouldn't you like a punch of my violets, sir? Oh, okay. uh, Tristan around Covent Garden as though she owns the place. <laughs> Dolly Lally's that. Yes, well, she's a right little Eliza Doolittle, isn't she? Yes, well, in that case, it's just as well that you'll know Professor Rickens, isn't it? Yes, well, it would seem to me that we've wandered a little from our course, haven't we? Course? Course I didn't know we had one. But I'll have one now, if you don't mind make it a brandy, please. Double, uh, nice double brandy, uh. Yes, and while you're at it, bring one for me, too. <laughs> I could do with one myself. Yes, rather a jolly good idea, that. Well, let's, let's all nip down the pub, what say, eh? But before we go, uh, what was that chap's name again? Um, well, the name was Llewellyn Williams. Llewellyn Williams. Sounds German to me. Yeah, and also there was a name of an agency, wasn't that so? Yes, it was... I don't mind if I do. Oh, shut that door. Hey, hey, does that mean it's finished, then? What, the tape? Well, he didn't mean the Grand National, did he? <laughs> it certainly is finished. That's all, folks. Bye-bye for now.